jealousy and envy is basically when you see that someone has something and you want it for yourself. Islamically, there is a concept known as hasad. And hasad is similar to jealousy and envy, except that in hasad, you not only want something that someone else has, but you also want that they don't have it. So for example, let's say uh, you know somebody who has more friends than you on Facebook or more followers on Twitter or something like that. Hasad is when you want the followers that they have or you want more numbers than they have and you want that they have less so that they, whatever they're blessed with or whatever they have, that it gets taken away from them. Now, uh, this is a normal thing. It's normal for people to feel jealous and envious of others when they see that Allah has blessed them with certain things. The best possible tip, inshallah ta'ala, I have for you is that when you're feeling jealous and envious, make a very simple dua. And that dua is, Allahumma zid wa barik. Basically what you're saying is, Oh Allah, increase them in what you have given them and put barakah in it and put blessings in it. And you may think that's counterintuitive. You may say, well, if I'm jealous of them, why would I ask Allah to give them even more and to put barakah in it? Well, there's benefit in that. And the benefit is this. First and foremost, when you make dua for somebody else, we know that the angels make the same dua for you. So when you say, oh Allah, increase them in what they have, you're actually making dua for yourself as well. That's the first thing. Second thing, when you make dua for someone else, you actually release the negative feelings you have towards that person. And one of the things you'll realize about jealousy and envy is that it's a very poisonous thing. Hasid is very poisonous to the soul and it makes a person very uneasy. So when you make this dua, you will feel this release from your soul, you will feel this positivity. And inshallah ta'ala, you're on a road to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.